There's the whistle. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Well, it's not hard to like what Sergio Ramos offers. Um, goes about his work with strong aggression and tries to dominate opposition strikers. He's also a sizable menace on set pieces and brave at getting his head on the ball. Yeah, the scourge of so Zidane! And that's caused a worry or two. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Marcos Alonso gets it away. Deportivo so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Patrick van Arnholt looks to dink one in. He's gone for it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. He's made sure that that won't get through. And the shot! They've scored! He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Deportivo take the lead, 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Gets wrestled off the ball. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And the half-time whistle goes. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead. Tries one! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. And it's Van Arnholt. Tries a through ball. You can think ahead, but not take your eye off the ball. And he did. Gets it back. Tries to dink it in. Lovely bit of... Hurls himself at it! Great effort, he flew in with courage. A good attempt, the ball was at a, a lovely height too. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Well, it's good stuff, this is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? header another header but again the same outcome how hard can it be to time a jump with the right contact it's not that difficult is it Peter they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough can he finish Deportivo goes for goal no mistake and with that goal comes comfort well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's a simple game. A striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. That's what changes here, from both sides, in fact. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Deportivo have a couple of goals without reply. Shot a goal! Surely that settles it. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Deportivo take a three goal lead and they are romping out of sight. And that will be the final act. A huge result. A place in the next round is theirs to lose now. Success on away territory, a lead to protect at home. It is looking...
I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. And our live game is Deportivo against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. Things on the way. Deportivo are back on familiar territory, having secured victory in the first leg. And they look firm favourites to secure their place in the quarter final, barring a capitulation. That's a hit! Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Oh, it was almost a dream start. Plenty of encouragement to be taken, though. That is a poor kick by the keeper. Been intercepted. And it's Sahar. Can he put it away? And he nearly went all the way. He was set on rounding it off in fitting style, but he couldn't make it fit. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Passes it through. And he's onside. He's got options out wide. Oh, and the shot! Juve. Looks like a good ball through. Fraser. He's left his man. Good challenge, he just goes for goal! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. That's been leave it clear, and it's Mkhitaryan. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And a header! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, and you can hear how the crowd are reacting to this too. Directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. He's in tries one. I think that's a corner. Yes, it is. And shoots! Really well taken goal. And this is getting better and better. And I'll tell you, the chest control was the key component there. That enabled the shot.
half-time whistle goes. Reflections on the first half. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Deportivo sitting pretty here at half-time. 2-0 up. He's had a go! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Kicked by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. He'll hit it. All Brighton. Juice. Makaleli. Nicholas substitutions will be coming up pretty soon. Zaha. Oh, great ball. on both sides actually that is a poor kick by the keeper being intercepted Zidane and it's Rudiger deftly done oh, he's gone for it oh, the keeper's done ever so well well you can't ask for much more than that a difficult moment he simply had to deal with Here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Knocks it away. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really... Hits it! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Zaha! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Beautifully worked to take the defence out of the picture, but there'll be no rush to see the replay on this. It so nearly came off for it. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. They've won at home, they've won away. A comprehensive victory for a side that has been clearly better over both legs. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of a match and if you can back that up with an early goal it just energises everybody, the whole performance and I think they were certainly more fluid as a result of the early goal.